Crimeans cast ballots in a controversial referendum. Break from Ukraine and join Russia, or revert to their status under a 1992 constitution, which gives considerable latitude to join Russia in the future. Opponents of the vote see it as a sham, considering Russian and pro-Russian forces are already in control. But for many elderly at polling stations in the regional capital, Simferopol, the idea of coming back under Moscow's rule, as the region was in Soviet days, is a dream come true. It's been 23 years. Don't make me cry. Crimean parliament member Vladimir Klichnikov agrees. People have an opportunity to determine their future and the future of their children. It's a celebration, a celebration of democracy. And indeed, a fair amount of money has been spent in the run-up to the vote to present this as a festive pro-Russian occasion. Entertainers from already Russian republics took to the stage in central Simferopol to cheer on voters to the polls including dancers from Tatarstan, a nod to Crimea's Tatar community, whose leaders vowed to boycott the referendum as illegal. Crimean Tatar Ervin Rustemovich is among those who spurn the idea of joining Russia. People don't understand that they won't keep their promises. Any sensible person understands that. Nothing is given for free. Nobody cares about us there. Many people do care what's happening to Crimeans, but for those who wanted to stay clearly part of Ukraine, there doesn't appear much they can do. Elizabeth Arrett, VOA News, Simferopol.